So to tell you the honest truth, that's for like, yeah, I do it for prosperity and for the future. So I got that one clip. Go and close that. And then I take another video clip. Kind of like this one. Now remember too, this week you're still playing with tools, okay? So I'm going to download that one. Now, sometimes too, you might be thinking, does it warrant a voiceover? How many of you like to game? Oh, don't act like you don't game, Edward. I know you do on Valorant. If you have a gaming headset, similar to the, like this one that has a microphone, you could use it to do voiceover work. It's also kind of cool because it drowns out most of the sound in the room. So keep that in mind if you want to do voiceover work. works really well. So I might do a demo on that in a second just for fun. I also dropped a woody hat. So, aha. You could have it. All right. So I got the video clips downloaded. Then if you want to, listen to the audio tracks. Be like that. Why me? You're welcome. <laughs> that one's fascinating. That one sucks. I don't know about that. Okay. I like the end is near one. No, you could use your own audio as well. But I highly recommend, highly recommend that you go through Premiere Pro free music. We are not going to show you how to download it from YouTube. It's strange that I'm looking right at someone because this message is for you. That is not what we're going to cover anytime soon. There is a way to do it, but I'm just not going to show that. Ooh, I like that one. Okay. So there's some some of them there. And you could just go to open a new window and download it that way. Okay. Like the end is near one. So keep in mind, I have given you one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven audio tracks, but if you want to find your own, Sid brought up a good question. How do you do that? Go Premiere Pro Free Audio. Okay. And go through the royalty free ones and a few other ones. I know where Paliza made a mistake. He actually showed everyone how to do it from the way we're not supposed to. And then I mean, I'm just like, I haven't talked to him about it. I was like, how stupid did you feel afterwards knowing that you showed an entire class and like half the class is going to do it right. Then the other class, they're going to click on where it's, you're not supposed to click. And they did that, didn't they? And he's like, yeah. And I was like, that's why the back row was all sabotaged. I was like, just, just don't, just don't just do it the right way. All right. So I got my movie clips. I got my audio track. Okay. So what I'm going to do. Going to open up Premiere Pro. Remember, you guys have the 2023 version. I have the 2022 version. Me personally, I still use the 2015 version because it's dope. Just keep that in mind. So I'm going to get a new project. This is my first video. I'm going to say Monday or Tuesday. Now remember too, if you see some of these and you're like, well, I want to play with that girl on the cliff and make it like Moana. You can. Okay. The assignment parameters are you need video clips with audio this week, transitions, and other things of that nature. Okay, so I'm going to go create. When I create it, remember, I need these four windows. So if I don't have them, I'm going to go up to workspace, captions and graphics, make sure that's on. Then I'm going to go file, import, import. So I'm going to import... Where's my house? Oh, <laughs> that's why. All right, there's my there's my scary shack. 
Okay. Everyone good so far? Okay. So I got my scary shack. I'm going to pull it over here. Okay. And if you notice, as I play it, there is no audio. The reason why I know there's no audio is that's a solid line with no like heartbeat rhythm. Because if it had audio, it would go up and down. It's basically this here, but on a smaller scale. So what I'm going to do is I'll block my video file, and then I'm going to delete that. I don't need it. Okay. So I got my scary cabin in the woods. Or is it scary? It's not scary enough yet. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go file, import. I'm going to import the skull with fire effect on it. Now remember too, if for some reason you do these exact same two, you're going to be like, but I did what you did. Well, keep in mind, there's ways to change it. Okay. So the very first change I'm going to do is, okay. Is everyone good so far? All right. So this one, it's in slow motion. Okay. So what if I want to do it in fast motion? How do I do that? Do you guys know? Oh, that's exciting. Okay, so I'm going to right click on this bar. I go to speed duration. Right click on the video source. Okay, speed duration. Okay, click on it. Now at 100%, that's the speed it goes. If I go up to 300, it goes faster. If I go below 100, it goes slower. I saw the movie Speed over the weekend, and it reminded me there's a bomb on a bus. It goes 50 miles per hour. It's armed. It drops below 50. Oh it explodes. God. Yeah, it's fun to watch that one. I still don't think you could jump that gap. Like, now that I've yeah. driven a lot more, like, there's no way that bus can jump that gap. But it is the 90s. So if I press OK, look at my video clip. It's suddenly much smaller. And watch this. It's going to go faster. Whoa. It still looks pretty cool. Now let's say, let's say I want it to go backwards. Same thing. I'm going to right click it, go to speed and duration, reverse speed. And I press OK. So now it's going to start from the reverse. So it's going to be like, ooh, and it's revealing the skull. That's exciting. Okay. Now remember too, this first one, I'm actually going to slow that one down. So speed duration, I'm going to set it at about, I'd say 80. See what it does. Okay. So I slowed it down. Mm, it's okay. It's okay. Is a doper at 75? Let me see. 75. Then I press OK. Hehe. <laughs> OK. So now when I go into video transitions, video transitions are ones that you could definitely play with all these. So I kind of like the obsolete one. Gradient wipe looks okay here. Let me just put the gradient wipe on there. I'll press okay. So let's go and wipe it. Yeah, it's all right. Now, if you have an effect on and you don't like it, check this out. You click on the little effect, press delete. That gets rid of it. Okay. Now I'm going to have my effects control up there. Let me do flip over. Let me press play again, see what it does. I don't like that. That's too juvenile for me. So I'm going to press delete. I would say go through them and see which ones really sing to you. I'm going to see Iris Diamond. What does this do? I don't know. Oh, it does that. Trust me when I say 99% of your time, you're going to be clicking on transitions and seeing what they do. Because honestly, if you remember, if you are able to memorize every transition, congratulations. You have an abundance of memory. I don't. <laughs> I'm just saying. So let me see what the Iris Cross does. 
It's okay. I don't like it. Not for the tone of what I'm going for. So iris might not work. Immersive video. Spherical blur. Let me see what that does. Ooh, that might actually work. Okay. Yeah. My graphic card is already having issues with it. But it does give you an idea of what to do with it. Chroma leaks. Yes. Which one? Let me see this one. Ooh, that one's cool. And keep in mind, how do you put a transition on? You need a break. So you could put it at the beginning of the video and at the tail end of it too. And remember, you kind of want to see it and play with it to see what it does. Okay. I kind of like that. Kind of like that. Got to get that. Got to get that. That'll play. Okay. So the last little bit that I'll show you guys is, say, for instance, you don't want to do an audio track. That's fine. You don't, you don't have to, but realize it's going to be play kind of boring and we won't know what you're saying. You could go through the essential graphics and put in some captions. Let me put in the captions. I'm just going to put it there. And I'm going to say the cabin in the woods. So then I play it, see how that looks. The cabin in the woods. And I'll just put another one here. <coughs> it is cursed by Skeletor. Whoa. And if you notice, remember, my graphic card is powering the Promethean board. So that's why mine is a little bit choppier. On yours, it's going to look awesome. Mine, it's going to look choppy. But this is pretty much all I'm asking for is make a story of the clips, okay? You guys are capable, young, intellectual people that could create a, a story with the clips. I'm actually going to stop screencastifying because this is pretty much what I'm asking for. Throughout the week, I will show...